Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel called PowerPoint University. You can find more than 200 plus video tutorials which are absolutely free and I have provided the download link for each video in the video description section. And if you need any assistance or help, you can contact me through WhatsApp on this number. And as usual, I need your support to make my content free. You can donate any amount as you like, which will help me to make more free content. Thank you for your support. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a A4 size brochure in PowerPoint. And this is how the brochure looks. You can see I've added a cityscape image here. And then there are some triangles which has been added with the text icons and the text and the year of the brochure you can define here and the main headline and the detailed text can be added at the bottom and similarly I had added one more slide and without the effect here so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint these are the prerequisites to make this slide you need powerpoint 2013 and above version basic merge shapes knowledge i recommend you to watch my free powerpoint training videos you have got three different videos this definitely will help you and then you need some icons which you can download from the nonproject.com three different icons you need a cityscape image which i have downloaded from the internet and the slide size to be a4 so let's begin add a new slide you have to make sure that in the design go to the slide size select custom slide size and select from the drop down list a4 size and the orientation let it be landscape then go to view enable the guides go to insert tab shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle covering half of the slide shape outline make it no outline go to insert again shapes select a right triangle draw the right triangle something like this this also make it no outline and give some different color and bring it here align it properly reduce the size a little bit and I'm going to cut this part so select the blue rectangle first and then the right triangle under format merge shapes say subtract so you end up with this shape I want to change the background of the slide right mouse click go to format background and give a gradient fill and then you can add any image here to add the image right mouse click go to format shape and select a picture so by default this picture I have selected that's the reason it's appearing or you can go to file menu and select any image uh, which you have downloaded the next go to insert shapes select a triangle draw the triangle first of all make it no outline and I'm going to give the color to this and rotate left 90 degrees and bring the triangle here increase the size to match to the half of the slide and then using this pointer you can just make sure that this is aligned properly you have to just 
bring it down fully and then align it properly it would take some time but at the end it worth it you get a quality slide so i have done with this now i am going to select this image control d to duplicate and rotate it one more time rotate i will say flip horizontal bring the other side increase the size and it should touch this so first of all i will give very less space here this much space and then using the this orange button drag it down or if you want you can give this much space and this color you can change to some other color all right and you can add some small uh, triangles also press ctrl d reduce the size just I'm adding some more control D again reduce the size and rotate it bring it here and you can give some different colors and one more I'm just going to add it here and I'm going to so once this is done you can do one more animation uh, sorry not the animation uh, the effect for example if you see uh, my slide you can see there are some some zigzags are there so I'm just going to create the same thing so for that let me add a new slide and I'm going to select this triangle copy and paste it here and go to insert shapes select a, a rectangle draw the rectangle something like this and don't remove the outline bend it ctrl d just make any uh, pattern so likewise you can make some random patterns and once this is done all right select all and merge shapes say fragment now you can see this i will take this 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 and this Control C, come here, Control V. Can you see this one? And I'm just going to group this and make sure that this is not no outline is there. And then under the fill, solid fill, you can reduce the transparency level.
see you got this pattern similarly you can do this for the top image and this one also and if you want I am just going to copy this rotate it and I am going to put it here as a watermark or thumbnail something like that increase the transparency level further so you got this also here now it's time to add the text and the icons so I'm going to add the three icons here first of all go to insert shapes select the oval shape make it white color no outline and give some shadow effect and the height and width to be 0.5 inches only Control D and if you want to add more also you can do that one and then I have got this icons I'll copy it here you can reduce the size of the icons And then you can add some small text here add the text box text box make it white reduce the size so this text I'm just going to copy to the other icons also and then go to insert add a main headline give the same color and use some good font make sure that this is a line center and add the detailed text And here you can add control D the year maybe 2019 make it bold and white and on top you can type your company name here And this is how the slide looks you got the text here the main headline and you can add some different patterns here also That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.